and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today we're going to have a look at the Comica CVM V02C Lavalier XLR Lavalier which requires 48 volts of phantom power. Now, I do most of my recording in the studio into a Motu M2 audio interface which takes XLR inputs. But I've been wanting to use a lavalier more uh, for when I move from one part of the studio to the other to show uh, different products or if I'm uh, doing something on the computer. And I found a lavalier is the better and I've been using the Rode Wireless Go or this Boya lavalier here and this is the uh, Boya B1 BYM1 lavalier that I'm using here but I wanted something to go into a Moto M2 so I had a look at this the Comico. As regards the uh, build quality of this Comico lav the little foam screen is quite a good fit though the uh, Rubber isn't attached very well. Quite a nice capsule. The lead is nice and thick. The only uh, thing I would say, I'd prefer a slightly longer lead. Doesn't say how long the lead is. But I'd say it's about one and a half meters long. Whereas the one you get with the boyer is, well, very long, big long. Actually ends up being a bit too long to be honest. And this is this is okay for when I'm sitting at the computer and I've got an extension lead for the XLR anyway. But yeah, the build quality is quite uh, quite good. And it also comes with one of these wind shields as well. Furry windshield. Dead hamster or whatever you want to call it. Which uh, this one from Boya doesn't come with. It doesn't even come with this little foam. I got one of these. I got the foam top for it. So yeah, it's not bad quality at all. And the specifications, if we read them off here, uh, is frequency range is 100 hertz to 12 kilohertz. Uh, we've got sensitivity of minus 42 decibels plus or minus three decibels. And a signal to noise ratio of greater than 60 decibels. Now the difference you might see if when you're looking for this actual one, they do the V02, the V020, and this is the V02C. And this one's cardioid, whereas the O is omnidirectional. So I thought I'd go for the cardioid one. And with the omnidirectional one, you don't appear you get one of these. So that's why I went for this. So, uh, yeah, the build quality is good. Clip's quite good. good. Good and strong. Yep, quite impressed with it. So what we'll do is a quick test with the two lavaliers and see which sounds better. I've got them both going into my Tascam DR60D Mark II. Obviously with the Comica into the XLR with 48 volts and the boyer into the 3.5mm three, 3 jack and I've got the levels basically the same. I thought what I'd do is just read a short passage here uh, on, into both microphones, both roughly the same distance. We'll listen to them with nothing done to it and then we'll uh, listen to them with uh, my usual settings. So, how did you make this photograph? This is the question Ansel Adams was asked repeatedly during his lifetime. In examples the making of 40 photographs, Adam shares the circumstances surrounding the making of many of his most celebrated photographs. Each of the 40 photographs superbly reproduced in duotone is accomplished by an entertaining and informative narrative 
that combines reminiscences of people and places with precise recall of technical details and aesthetic considerations. How did you make this photograph? This is the question that Ansel Adams was asked repeatedly during his lifetime. In examples of making of 40 photographs, Adams shares the circumstances surrounding the making of many of his most celebrated photographs. Each of the 40 photographs superbly reproduced in duotone is accomplished by an entertaining and informative narrative that combines reminiscences of people and places with precise recall of technical details and aesthetic considerations. So listening to the uh, sound clips um, on the computer, you can see there's quite a big difference in the unedited edited versions, um, with the Boyer having more low end and the Comica uh, being a bit brighter. And I think that's down to the fact that uh, the Boyer uh, frequency range is 65 hertz to 18 kilohertz, whereas the Comica is 100 hertz to 12 kilohertz. And so that 100 hertz cut off on the Comica gets rid of all that lower bass. And for my voice, that's quite advantageous. It makes my voice a bit more brighter and gets rid of some of the uh, deeper tones. But I think you're going to have to consider whether that's what you want in your situation and how your voice is with the boy raising, getting more of the bass, more of the low frequencies. If you want to give more to your lower frequencies, then the boyer is probably a better choice for you. Uh, I did do a uh, noise floor check, the best that I could do in this uh, my studio environment. Um, and as you can see, the actual noise floor isn't much different, with the Comica being 59, minus 59 decibels, and the Boya being minus 53 decibels. Uh, there's not a big difference in it, to be honest. Uh, and that could just be down to my studio anyway. So that's uh, my look at the... Comica XLR lavalier. I think it's an excellent lavalier, especially for what I want and for my voice. I'm quite happy with it and yes I would recommend it. Um, so you've got to look at what you require. The lead could be a bit longer but I have got an extension lead for the XLR so that's not a problem at all. Build quality is good. Yeah, quite happy with it or could recommend it. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Until next time, see you later.